Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Leon from No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Leave a like if you found the video helpful. Leave a comment and watch the video to the very end. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up and format your external hard drive for your PlayStation 5. It works pretty much the same way as you do your PlayStation 4. You're going to go to uh, settings. You're going to go to storage. And then you're going to see console storage and extended storage. And you see I have a, a Western Digital 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, this is the only one I could find. Uh, and one important thing is that it has to be a USB 3.0 or, or higher. It cannot be a USB uh, 2.0 hard drive because the PlayStation 5, it will not uh, allow you to uh, use it. So we're going to go to format as extended storage. It says when you format the drive, all data on it will be deleted. No. Note that saved data, screenshots, and video clips can be saved in external storage. Are you sure you want to continue? Press yes. And then from there, it's going to format. It's going to say, uh, don't go and, and disconnect the drive. It says, this USB drive has been formatted as external storage. PS4 games and apps will now be installed in, in external storage. To change where the PS4 games and apps are installed, go to settings, storage, extended storage, and then turn off on always install PS4 games to extended storage. To stop using and safely remove the extended storage drive, go to settings, storage, extended storage, and then select save to remove from PS5. So I'm going to actually go over that as well. So you see here, um, I lost a little bit of my storage. It was 500 gigs. It formatted to 460. So about four gigs are about um, just the formatting and how everything works. You see here that it has it set up as uh, always install PS4 games extended storage. I have that selected. And you see here that when I press this, I, it'll safely remove it from the PS5. You press this little button here, and it actually, if you want to format it as an XFAT, uh, you don't have to do that. Um, one important thing is that it will not work on the front uh, USB ports, the type C and the 2.0 in the front, it does not work on that. So you will need to hook it up on the rear ports. There are two rear ports. I'm going to actually put a picture up in, in a few seconds, but there are two rear ports on the PS5 that are for um, the uh, super speed or the USB uh, 3.0 or higher. And it just has the little uh, blue tip on the, um, on the connector. Most of the regular USB ports, um, you're going to have a, a, a white tip, but the a super speed is a, a blue tip. So that's it. It's pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, you, from my understanding, you can have as many games as you, many hard drives as you want. So you can probably hook up another one. I'm going to actually test it out and see if it works. Um, and I'll come back and I'll show you all that. But hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, again, at the end, I'm going to leave the... Um, the picture up with the uh, with the PS with the the back of the ports for the PS5. Uh, the takeaways here is that uh, you have to have a, a super speed or, or USB 3.0 hard drive. Uh, you see, I have as little as a 500 gig, but you can have a, a terabyte, maybe even a two terabyte. I don't know the exact limit, but uh, I can confirm that the one I have does work. So uh, you have a blessed day, and you take care.